Good morning, John. It is better to have a great wave than to be a great surfer, is an adage that I'm just going to have to believe because at this point in my life, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take up surfing. But it is something that rings true to me as someone who built a career on the backs of, I don't know how to ride waves, while riding waves, several significant waves. And the biggest one from the beginning to me has always felt like it couldn't get any bigger. It's always been a huge deal, even when no one else thought it was a big deal, but it was also something that I couldn't really put my finger on and still can't really. It's just too big to put into one box and it also interfaces with a lot of things that are outside of it. So as with all things, it's just complicated and labels are always a little bit artificial. There's influencers and there's Etsy shops and there's haunted dolls, fast food reviews and instructional woodworking videos and queer hockey comics and drill tweets. For a while I was calling it fractured fame because ever since the 1950s it has seemed to me that the like monolith of celebrity has found more and more ways to break down. But I think that's just because of a particular lens that I have on the situation. I think actually it's, it's bigger than fame. In general, I think that power concentrates, and definitely wealth concentrates, and so it's interesting to see any mechanism that actually distributes more evenly making money, connecting with people, influencing people. And when YouTube started sharing revenue, when Etsy got big, when Patreon happened, all of these things were pieces of a puzzle that allowed this thing that had been going on for a really long time to, to take off and it has really taken off in the last six months. I think that part of the economy is gonna be a bigger and bigger and bigger deal. I also think that it will have a lot of inequality built into it. I also think that like millions of people will take half of the money and like seven billionaires will take the other half. And that's something that we should be at least aware of. I feel extremely lucky to have been able to be a part of it. Uh, it doesn't seem like something that would have happened to me. But also, John, you and I think about it so much that it allows us to, to like, do it in a way that I'm comfortable with and that, like, I feel like is ultimately good. I think a lot of the stuff in this economy is gonna be awful and destructive, but I think most of it will be good. I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, a little worried. And as a person who's been through it a lot already, hopefully, like, I want to be able to be someone who can help others who are going through it understand the responsibility and the value and the perils and the joys of being part of this, whatever this is. John, I'll see you on Tuesday because Pizza Miss is over, which is wild because there's a bunch of videos I wanted to make that I didn't even make. Do I want Pizza Miss to be all year round? A little bit, a little bit. Do I have a lot of people who don't want that to be the case in my life? Yes. We're gonna keep pizzamiss.com open through the end of the weekend so you can get your stuff now or you can get it tomorrow or the next day and then never again. And I'm hearing music now and that can only mean one thing. So I guess I have to go do this.